Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's first reading, St. John continues to speak to us about God and his dwelling, his presence within us, that is within the soul, that is in the state of grace. If you are in the state of grace, then God dwells in your soul, the Most Holy Trinity, the three persons, as a friend, and there are certain effects that take place for the soul that is in the state of grace. That is, God will continue to increase supernatural love in your soul, uh, provided you don't place any obstacles to that operation of God. And so God wants to bring his love within us to perfection, as St. John says. And so we want to do our part to remove any obstacles that may be there, uh, disordered attachments to things, to people, um, you know, any vices, uh, things like that we want to remove. Uh, we want to cultivate the presence of God and his love within us by prayer, receiving the sacraments and these kinds of things. And if we're doing uh, what we're supposed to be doing, then God will, in fact, increase love in our souls day by day. And we have a wonderful example of this in the soul of St. Francis of Assisi, as St. Bonaventure writes in his life of St. Francis. He describes St. Francis as a living coal of fire. He seemed to be entirely absorbed in divine love. And when he heard any, anyone speak of the love of God, he was affected, roused up, inflamed, as though the inner cord of his heart were struck by the bow of the voice. In the midst of the beauty of the world, he beheld God, who is beautiful and is the author of all beauty. And by means of his footsteps, which are impressed on visible things, that is, on the creation, uh, he used these things as a ladder for himself, by which he always mounted up from greater height to greater height uh, to the God who is love. And so this will also happen in our souls, uh, again, provided we don't place any obstacles. Uh, as we see, there were obstacles in the hearts of the apostles, as we read in today's gospel. They didn't understand the incident of the loaves. On the contrary, their hearts were hardened. We have the example not only of St. Francis, but the perfect example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, right? Who uh, She didn't have a hardened heart in, in any way, but rather a heart that was completely open completely docile, without a single obstacle to the operations of God within her. And for this right reason, she rose to unimaginable heights of divine love. And we ask Our Lady and St. Francis to pray for us that we can follow uh, their path in some small way at least. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.